Hello? Chris! You are not gonna believe this. What? It's unthinkable. What damn you? Disney has released a new trailer for Rogue One. What? You know what you must do. I must immediately upload my review of this trailer without much planning or thought, hoping that every word out of my mouth is gold despite being unplanned. I will then put a clickbaity thumbnail, hoping that people click on my video thinking it's just a trailer despite the fact that everyone knows I'm going to like this trailer anyway. Let's do this shit. <coughs> Well guys, they released a new trailer for Star Wars Rogue One. I know, I know, hey, hey, I'm just the messenger. I'm just the... Calm down. All jokes aside, guys, can December 16th please come because I can't take this anymore. The possibly but unconfirmed final trailer for Rogue One debuted today and I watched it and of course it looks great. I mean, every trailer so far has looked good. So me sitting here saying, this looks good, isn't really that much of news. I mean, everyone pretty much expected that out of me already because I'm a big Star Wars fan. But let's talk about what looks really special in this trailer. And for me, I was extremely excited to finally get a look at Mads Mikkelsen. He's one of my favorite actors. I love that guy and I can't wait to see what he does in this movie. So apparently in Rogue One, he plays the father of Jyn Erso, who was in some way integral to the development of the Death Star. Now that tells us a lot. Maybe a little more than I necessarily needed to know. From a writing standpoint, that's really good for Jen Erso's character because she's the one sent to destroy this thing, but her father was integral in building it, and he doesn't exactly seem too proud of that in this trailer. So that's really going to give her some really good background and character depth, as well as give Mads Mikkelsen a really fun character to play. And I really like that aspect of this trailer, and I'm hoping that that shines true emotionally in the film. It's also, of course, great to see some more looks at Darth Vader, although I was hoping for a line or two, but I don't really need that. I just want it! because we're gonna see the movie in a couple months anyway, and I will hopefully get a lot of Gareth Edwards giving me Darth Vader and not cutting away every time Darth Vader appears. Another image in this trailer that I thought was really cool was this fallen image of this Jedi statue of some kind, this ruins of what looked like a Jedi warrior, and that tells us that time has passed, which we of course already know because we understand this timeline. It's been this way since the 70s and 80s. We, we know what this timeline is but it's cool to see a planet that has the ruins of a Jedi statue. And I love shots like that, that tell the story without having to tell the story, visual storytelling. And I'm hoping, as I said, this is all just hope. A rebellion built on hope. Cause that's all I can really do is hope. In the end, a trailer is just a trailer. You can make a great trailer, out of an okay film. So naturally I'm gonna sit here and tell you that I hope that's not the case because I've experienced movies that look this good that end up just being a very good looking movie that made a fantastic trailer. Now this is nothing new, but I gotta say these effects really do look marvelous. I hesitate to say they might actually look better than Force Awakens, which also had fantastic special effects obviously. And I recoil a little bit at saying that simply because we're seeing one to two second images of these things in the trailer. And so when we see the film and, and see it all hopefully seamlessly melded together, I can't wait to see what these effects look like in the movie because they look amazing in this trailer. But what I appreciate the most of the tone of this trailer in particular, as well as the other two, but, but mostly this one, because we finally do get a touch of emotion and, and sort of a hint of depth underneath some of these characters. This trailer is hinting this will be an emotionally powerful experience, not just a fun Star Wars movie. And I think that's really impressive for a lot of people that just went, ah, uh, excuse me, um, uh, um, we already know that they get the plans. So your movie's gonna suck. You, I make movies too, you know. Oh, Star Wars. Oh, oh, oh. 
It seems like they know they can't just make an action adventure movie about getting the Death Star plans because we know that the Rebels get the Death Star plans. And so they're adding a lot of real emotion to this movie and that's what's going to hook us and that's what I'm excited to see. What did you guys think of the Rogue One trailer? I of course liked it. It looks great. I can't wait to see the film. Let me know below what you thought of the new trailer. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck manized. I've got to go tell some more people about this Star Wars Rogue One trailer. There's a new trailer for Star Wars Rogue One. See, there's a new trailer for Star Wars Rogue One. Don't you care? Don't you care? Don't you care about the Star Wars trailer? Don't you? What's wrong with you, Steve? Tell the people about Star Wars. Guys, thanks for watching this. Do check out my friend Matt Brando, his channel. He has amazing reviews. He helped me in the intro of this. He is awesome. Very good quality content. Definitely worth your time.